Capital One is one of the stingiest credit card issuers out there when it comes to giving credit limit increases. But if you follow these tips and tricks, you just might be able to convince Capital One into giving one to you. Hey everyone, Eric here and welcome back to the channel. One of the reasons why credit card YouTubers emphasize getting periodic credit card limit increases is because of one thing, credit card utilization. Credit card utilization is the percentage of the total credit card limit you use every single month and attributes to roughly 30% of your overall credit score. Let's give an example of how exactly credit card utilization works. For simplicity's sake, let's say your friend has a credit card with a credit limit of $5,000. And let's say for you yourself, you have a credit card with $10,000. Both of you roughly spend $2,500 each month on your respective credit cards. But while your personal credit score increases every single month, your friends actually decreases every single month. Why is that? Well, that's where credit card utilization comes into play. The general rule of thumb is to maintain a less than 30% credit utilization. For you in your case, you're just hitting 25%, while your friend is actually hitting 50% credit card utilization. In both of these cases, credit lenders will see both of your credit score portfolios and deem that you're more responsible with your money based on your credit card utilization alone. Now, for your friend, how does he prevent his credit card utilization to be over 30%? Well, there's three ways to achieve that goal. Number one is obvious, stop spending so much money. However, with expenses needing to be paid, that is easier said than being done. Number two is applying for a new credit card so that when accepted, will increase your overall credit limit, thus decreasing your credit utilization percentage. However, with this method, it would be a hard pull on your credit score and would temporarily decrease your credit score even more. And if your credit score is towards the low end, the odds of you being accepted is already low. Number three is applying for a credit limit increase to an existing credit card. This method amongst the three is the safest method. However, it's not necessarily guaranteed, especially if it's Capital One. So in this video, let's talk about some tips and tricks to help you convince Capital One into giving you that credit limit increase. Tip number one is your personal income. Whenever you're applying for a new type of loan, especially for a credit card, they typically ask you to report your income. While the system is mostly based on the honor system, it is wise to be honest as possible as it might bite you in the butt in the future. With this section, whether you're applying for a new credit card or applying for a new credit limit increase, the higher your personal income is, the better the chances are for a credit card issuer to accept your application. Now the tip here is to report everything as your income, whether it's a side hustle that makes some spare money on the side or an investment that makes passive income, put down other revenue streams that are making money every single year, not just your 95 income. Whatever streams of income that you report to the IRS every single year during tax season should be reported at your personal income as you're doing a credit card application or a credit limit increase. In general, the logic here is that the higher your personal income is, the higher the chances of getting your credit limit increases accepted, especially if it is higher than what was initially reported when you sign up for that specific credit card. If we swing by Capital One's website, you can see that not only can you put your personal income, but shared income and optional income sources as well. Tip number two is always paying on time every single month. What this shows the credit card issuers is that you're responsible with your money. Now put yourself in their shoes for a moment. Let's say two different people are asking you, the credit card issuer for credit card limit increases. Person A has consistently made on-time payments, paid the full amount of their balances every single month, for the past eight months. Person B on the other hand has made one on-time payment in the same eight months and has not even paid the minimum payment for the statement balances three times. Who would you rather give a credit limit increase to? If you chose person A, then you're correct. Be more like person A, don't be like person B and pay off your entire statement balances on time every single month. Following along with tip number two, let's talk about tip number three. Make sure you're not only paying the minimum balance every single month, but the entirety of your statement balances every single month. If you take a look at my personal statement balance of last month for my Wells Fargo autograph credit card, in the payment information section, there is a line called new balance and a line called minimum payment. When I said to pay off your entire balance, what I mean is, is to not just pay the $25 minimum payment, but rather the $120.57 new balance and to continue to do so every single month. This will show credit card issuers that you are a reliable client 
Who is responsible with their money? Tip number four is what I like to call overloading. And it's better to explain what this means through an example. Let's say for example, that you have four different credit cards that total up to $10,000 in credit limits. Making life easier, let's just evenly distribute the amount to each credit card so that you have four credit cards with a credit limit of $2,500 each. Let's say that one of these credit cards is the Capital One Saver One credit card, and that's the one that you want to get a credit limit increase for. That's where the term overloading comes into play. For the next couple of months, instead of dividing up your purchases amongst your credit cards, you pile all of your expenses onto the Saver One credit card. In turn, you're borderline maxing it out every single month. And since the same amount of expenses you spend every single month, you're still able to follow tip number three and pay off your entire statement balances every single month. What overloading does is alert credit card issuers that the credit limit that they set on the credit card is not enough and to increase it. This strategy is something I accidentally came across when I was in college. In college as a side hustle, I used to resell hypeware and shoes and I used my personal credit card in order to pay for that. This would cause my statement balances every single month to be extremely high and it actually forced Wells Fargo to give me credit limit increases without me having to ask for them. Don't believe me? Well, here's a couple of emails stating just that. And since you're at a 25% total credit utilization, the strategy shouldn't affect your credit score too much. And finally, tip number five is just to call Capital One customer service and just to ask. After all, unlike other credit card issuers out there, <coughs> Chase, Capital One only carries out soft credit pulls when cardholders request credit limit increases. Meaning that if you do get denied for a credit limit increase, it'll never affect your credit score either. Plus, after all of this, they'll send you an envelope listing out all the reasons why you got denied and it'll make it actually a little more concrete so that you can improve on everything that you need to improve on so that next time you apply for a credit limit increase, they'll actually give you one. All right, those are my tips and tricks in helping you get that coveted credit limit increase from Capital One. One of, if not the most stingiest banks out there in terms of giving you a credit limit increase. However, if you diligently follow each of these trips, I guarantee that you'll be able to get one of those credit limit increases. And if you do end up getting a credit limit increase through watching this video, make sure to comment down below to let others know of these methods. And again, if you found these tips to be helpful, make sure to leave a like, ring that notification bell, and make sure to subscribe. It's free and it would make my year. Thank you again for watching this video. Stay safe out there, everyone. Peace.